combined records of 20 and 1 in that game. The only loss for Liberty against NC State. Powerful run on first down, 13 yards on the handoff to Tucker Gregg, the junior from Chatsworth, Georgia. Finish to the season for him, ran for three touchdowns against South Alabama here in Mobile, not too far from here at the on-campus stadium. And this throw yields even better results for Georgia State. With the extra effort, taking the ball all the way down to the 25-yard line to, for Cornelius McCoy. They spread it out five wide, a draw for Brown up the middle. And he sets up first and goal, Georgia State. Third and goal, Georgia State on their second drive of the afternoon. Brown looking to throw, he backpedals, heaves, and that ball is tipped and intercepted. Western Kentucky comes up with the takeaway. Devin Key, major key. Here goes Pigram, first down yardage and then some, and he gives himself up inside the 40-yard line. Big drop back, Pigram downfield, pass completed the five, a dive at the goal line, and it's marked out of bounds short of the end zone. I'd like to bring 48 across the formation and use him as a lead blocker. Here comes Wachuski. The tight end helps lead the way for Tyrell Pigram, unimpeded into the end zone. Come on, come on. Holding a high power scoring offense and Pigram able to cap it off. Greg and Coates flanking Brown in the backfield. A run up the middle, a slip tackle, and a Georgia State touchdown. Eleven yards on the slippery scamper from Destin Coates. They're an extra point away from tying it up. And you see that big hole to run through. Then a good job by Coates of finishing off the run. That's what separates the men from the boys. The good ones will get you close. Wearing formal clothes today, so you don't have to enjoy this game. Hopefully with some family, friends, and if not that, at least a lot of food. Really capable but really a skilled technician to run this style of offense. Just simply the way that he ran the floor in basketball. A hard collision brings that end, brings that run to an end on the outside for Jemias Williams. They load it up to the left side. Here goes Williams, the speediest of this running back trio. He's collapsed upon by the defense at the 25 yard line. Native of Tuscaloosa, the redshirt senior, back in his home state. Look at the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown by Sam Pinckney. 26 yard connection from Quad Brown. Great job. Gave him a little stutter go. And when they fell for that, perfectly placed ball by Quad Brown. Hit him in stride. Watch out for that fence. After the penalty, they got six yards back on that one. Walker on the screen, and he's got them out toward midfield, a first down. Back-to-back -back plays to Florida products, 15 for Tampa's Gage Walker. You slip in a running back behind him, and you can gouge him. And we just saw the Hilltoppers do that. So they found the necessary antidote. And a long throw over the middle for Pigram. And that ball is taken away. Antavius Lane with the interception. Ball's in the air, go get it. Good job of just wanting that ball and coming up with a huge INT. Play of this drive comes from the Western Kentucky 33. Brown back to throw. Pink knees his guy down oh, the sideline and he comes up with the catch. Remarkable from Pinkney to haul it in. Brown on the rollout, a fastball to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia State. What a throw to Jamari Thrash. Rolling to his left, but look at the placement of the ball and a good job of securing the catch by Thrash. 
good crowd on hand here as well to watch these two squads. Short kick taken from the 15-yard line. Chance for a big return. Out to the 30, the 40, and now midfield. And unimpeded until the end of that run. Trying to cut into this Georgia State advantage after a big return on the kickoff. Pigram going for it. Oh, on the first throw, and that ball into the end zone is picked off. He hadn't thrown an interception the entire season, and that's his second in the first half. You've got to go up, make a play. Either I'm catching the ball or nobody's catching the ball. Not able to do it. Tyson Helton said, I'm going a little hunting, a little fishing. Sean Elliott said, see you guys on January 11th back in the office. Big what? run on the handoff, what? a burst they what? needed. Now, call timeout. 15 point difference right now, a chance for more. What's been the biggest gap between these two so far? The ability to convert on third down and the big play like that. Brown tucks it in down the sideline for his tight end, Roger Carter. That'll easily vault you in front, as they are right now up 21-7 and trying to add some more. Brown throws, end zone, touchdown. <laughs> Cornelius McCoy with the Panthers score. Look, quick run, watch him set up quick. He's locked and loaded. That ball's coming out. A little bit of pressure for Georgia State offense to continue to score points in bunches. Pigram with a clean pocket, plenty of time to throw, connects with Simon once again. He's on the run, inside the 10, slipping tackles all the way down to the five-yard line. That's been the one thing that's been a scar on this game. And off to Walker, and he is in clean to the end zone. Two touchdowns today for Western Kentucky. Two short runs, one for Pigram, this one for Walker. You know, the key is coaches earn their paychecks to me beginning of the game and at halftime. Halftime adjustment. Quad Brown, back to throw and brought down. After they had an offensive lineman late getting on the field, now they're set for the 45-yard try from Noel Ruiz. And that kick from Ruiz is good. They've also got to convert here. Need 10 for the first down, and Pigram is brought down. That's that guy you're not going to outrun, Jordan Strong. Didn't control time of possession. Flag is down. Brown rainbows it down the sideline. <laughs> and that ball is caught at the 42. And this sets up a short opportunity for Noel Ruiz from 29. His last try he hit from 45. Plenty of leg on it, and it's good. You're doing high school mascots now, really? That's how you feel? <laughs> We're, we got a 33-14 uh, game in the fourth quarter. What else do you want? It's a turnover on downs. The Georgia State defense swarms, smothers, and covers to force the turnover. You know, more and more you're starting to see teams realize you need two quarterbacks. He's taking a shot to the end zone, and <laughs> Collis Serdal throws a touchdown. <laughs> Kadarius Thompson with a catch from 25 yards out. Just when you thought they might be done for the night, there's six more. Cases and then number one, this throw from McKaylee Collis Hurdle. But Kitley will be the chief play caller, and Jay, that's going to be a spark for this offense as they get here what they have sorely needed throughout the game. But that Houston Baptist offense has had a prolific season, albeit a short one. So that has the potential to be a massive change, as does another addition, too. Handoff is a touchdown for Western Kentucky. Who had just nine wins in four seasons. This is already win number six of the year for Georgia State to close out the year. A 39-21 Lending Tree Bowl victory over Western Kentucky. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.